is like it exited here welcome back to another interesting course on heat ventilation and air conditioning okay in this video we're going to see heat ventilation and air conditioning system in buildings we're going to try as much to see how to draw it and let's see how it works okay how to create a plan for it this is a sample video to which i'm going to use for this tutorial let's see if the video is if the building is okay for that Sliding. yeah that's nice and go to your flow this is how the building looks like it's a very basic commercial building okay this is my maintenance unit to which i will maintain my heat and everything it goes out through this place okay and for second flow this is how it looks we have toilet and this is our third flow same thing as that of the second flow all right okay so my ceiling level is all created as well okay that's fine now I'm close okay so at default I don't know Revit end up giving you this for your template but hopefully um, uh, Revit providers or well, let's say Revit authority created the template and they put it in their website for you to download free and I will definitely put the link in the description of the video to which you can download the template which is the mechanical template and all of them let me show you instead of talking let me just show you just go back I move them to their desired location you can install it to any desired location you want so here they are all right all the construction the mechanical the plumbing structural system all that but for now let's make use of mechanical template and let's open it up okay it's now open link the file go to insert link rabbit file look up for the for the file you wish to use mine should be somewhere hmm. okay here it is and now put good this is my building don't be frightened by if you see your floor plan coming out this way either you change it to this or does it okay so now go to elevation south elevation let's create some view create similar let's create some few levels okay um, that's fine change oopsie just change the measurement to a thousand that's okay And on this one, change it to 11,000. Perfect. We have our level. The 
this max silly one change it to a frame okay max ceiling two over change it to a frame and ceiling three it's here also to a frame so if you have this ready now you can start opening up your system sorry system tab so here it is docked dock place holder and this is dock fitting okay dock accessory convert flex dock flex dock air terminal all right so go to air terminals we have supplied diffuser we have supply diffuser and return diffuser exhaust grill different type of this so let's put on an elevation and offset of 3000 3000 and now we have our supply diffuser okay you can add there is a standard to which you're going to add there is required square meter to which you're going to put your um, supply diffuser a supply diffuser is the one that supplies the fresh cooling system and the return diffuser drags up or how will I say sucks up <laughs> if that's the proper word it takes out um, the used air which is the hot air out of the building and that of the supply diffuser brings in the cool air into the environment so depending on the level of um, what's the name occupancy within a building um, varies so if it's a commercial building the number of supply diffuser will be much more higher than that of the residential building because the residential building the occupancy is just a family it's just a particular family within that envelope of a building but um, for a commercial building like markets or supermarkets such buildings you need a lot of supply diffuser in order to cool in that environment why because each and every person within that environment generate heat within his own body so if you calculate or oh, how will i say assume the number of heat generated by each and every body calculated by the amount of supply diffuser you end up having a very limited air within a building and you end up making people uncomfortable within that environment okay so sorry for the lecture this i'm just trying to tell you what it use what it what it is actually useful all right so let's have one here okay another one here mm, all right and let's see another one here Another one. Okay, we have this for my supply diffuser. All right, so still click on air terminal. This time around, I want a return diffuser. Okay. Also, at an offset of 3000. And hit on enter. So, this one, if I have two, should be enough. 
sometimes you're gonna have it within the supply life user but I prefer it to be at the side my own preference okay let's see it in our 3d <laughs> it's created somewhere at the top okay select sorry select all instances and then the project change it to level one I'm starting with level one first before I go into level any other level I wish to now let's see this at wireframe no what to do is go to view i guess yeah manage additional settings um check in a half tune with half tune half tune have to know this one i want my building to be uh, is that the way it should be okay let's just leave it this way you too mister go down yes okay And, um, all right so go to ceiling plan so we have our supply diffuser I think my supply diffuser is a bit too much I don't know I just feel like it's a bit too much Let me just delete this and create similar. And let's have it at the center here. One. And delete this. Create similar. And let's have another one right here okay so we have this as for our supply diffuser additional settings I think is a bit too much light dark okay so you see this is my ceiling level okay this is my ceiling level so my supply diffuser are my return diffusers are embedded on my ceiling okay so i'm going to stop this video here in the next class we're going to connect this supply the user and see what to do next okay let's meet sometime tomorrow for another interesting episode this tutorial is going to last for let's say maybe five videos i don't really know depending on how complex it gets okay so thank you very much for watching let's see sometime tomorrow for another interesting episode goodbye for now